All right, we're gonna go. Yeah. Three, two, one. Oh, come on! What do you think this is? A YouTube shorts? Who put these black bars up? Like, honestly, do you need such instant gratification all the time? Like, back in my day, we used to have 10 minute long videos. Well, guess what? I'm not giving you that satisfaction. I'm taking you <laughs> back. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's a good video though. <laughs> Whoops, my bad, too far. Hold up. All right. Enjoy. In about four months, the time will finally come. It's been five years in the making and it's time to graduate. That means no more tests, exams, pop quizzes, or studying. I can finally go to sleep. I'm probably still gonna be living off of ramen noodles, but I'll finally have time to make more projects. And what better way to celebrate than with a project? Here I have with me is my high school graduation cap. And unlike high school, we actually get to decorate our caps this time. See, I've been thinking about it for a while as to how I should decorate this thing. And I thought, wouldn't it be cool if it could do this? Okay, maybe that too. All right, get out of here. Now let's start and make the first look. All right, the heck did you do that for? Hey, is that Mark Rober? I love Mark. After turning on my hat, I've done my part and filmed a banger of an intro to our upcoming collab 30 years from now, which means... Okay, so of course Mark's already done it, but I still think it's a cool idea and I've already allotted a little bit of time to this. So we're going to do it anyway. So the plan is this. I want to turn the cap into a drone and as I walk on stage, I'll have a brief moment in the center where I get to deploy the drone and it flies off my head. Confetti will disperse from the drone and the motor will reel it back onto my head or into my hands. We'll have three main parts to this. The drone, the confetti, and the reel. Let's start with the drone. So I graduated. I procrastinated on this project so hard. Like I had forgotten about it until it hit me. Ooh. I have Eight days until graduation. Now don't get me wrong, I was doing other shit too. See, in order to graduate, we had to complete a senior design project. So we formed teams to use the school's money to make something that would benefit the community. We bought this Power Wheels car. Hey you, yes you, you wanted to get a new car, right? No? Perfect, because you don't want to drive this car. This car wants to drive you. That's right, not only does this car have stereo, Lights, optional steering wheel, but it's self-driving, kind of. All for whatever the ECE department can't afford, apparently. How much did we spend on the football team again? We wanted to make a self-driving car because it uses this cool LiDAR to scan the room and generate a map. This Arduino was hacked into the remote control so it could control the car. I got it. The fucking work with the stupid code. So many edits, all for nothing, because I just had to put in stun stamped at the end of the stupid command, but I got it to work, the stupid, it goes forward and then it turns, it turns the other way, yes, turn, turn, turn. I can go home! Then the laptop sits in the driver's seat and runs everything to make it self-drive. It, it can't self-drive. That's the wrong room. Okay, it kind of can. But there were so many problems with this thing that we needed several more nights in the lab to fix it. It can scan, plot a route, drive. But then it goes into a drunk driver simulator. Why is navigation so hard? I think we got to a point where it was just tweaking the settings, but man is Ross hard. Like how can you have something with so much documentation, but at the same time, not enough. Like one of our judges has been using Ross probably since his conception. And then they looked at that thing and was like, that's impressive. And yet somehow we placed and it didn't even work. What was this video about again? Oh, so I was freed on the Muppet Mobile on April 24th. Graduation is on May 10th.
Now I was thinking, how the heck am I gonna get on stage with this thing? So I thought to myself, maybe I should sign up to be the ceremonial speaker. At the audition, they told me that drones are probably not allowed, and they're probably really dangerous. Then I began building this thing in the lab, and one of the advisors was like, you know, yeah, this is way too dangerous. Then I spun it up for the first time, and holy shit, this is too dangerous. Now is probably a great time to say, don't try this at home. Okay, let me tell you how I did it. So the plan is simple. Watch the Great Scott video, measure the cap, about 1.5 spoons, 3D print everything without failure, throw everything onto the floor, screw what needs to be screwed, zip what needs to be tied, and boom, plane. Grab your ESC and flight controller, solder your fuck, make wire long, attach cap and battery thing, wire up the ESC, fish, fish, drill some holes, punch some holes, more zip ties, Joshua! Flash the flight controller. Solder the receiver down. Calibrate the accelerometer and transmitter. Zippity zip tip the battery and receiver. Plug it in. Then boom, graduate. Peter Tran. Wait, 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 wait. Where are the blades? Where's the flight? Where's the confetti? Yeah, remember when I said this thing was dangerous? I wasn't kidding. I made a compromise. I decked this thing out with a ECE logo and a spherical cow. I wanted to make the tassel spin in the front, but... Well then, uh... Yeah, no matter what I did, the tassels just bind or freaked out. I'm going to freak out. So I just made the two back motors do... Can you believe that this is only at 1%? Like, can you imagine how fast this would be if I just full sent this thing? This! This is what it looks like. Yeah, so after much consideration, I'd probably be arrested if I attempted this sort of thing. Like, if the drone had the slightest error, it could probably hurt someone pretty bad. So, for legal purposes, this is not a drone. Technically, it's more of a motorcycle. And this video is still not clickbait. Be because... Ah. Okay, I wussed out, so what? I had two amazing graduations. Took great photos with my friends and family. What more can I ask for? But man, do I want to fly this thing? Okay, I know this was the original plan. I would walk on stage, shake the president's hand, and then the drone would fly out of nowhere and confetti would go everywhere. Then the fishing line would be used to reel it all back in for the greatest graduation of all time. Yeah, that was a stupid plan. Since I don't really need this thing to come down smoothly anymore, I'm just gonna erase the anchoring and the real part. This way we could focus our attention to the flight and the- Welcome back to Confetti Watch, the only news station that can predict confetti. All right, Tim. Show us what you got. It's gonna be a rainbow-filled day controlled by the east side of the drone where room was excavated for the servo. Expect a cluster of flakes and a stream of streamers. Back to you, John. Thanks, Tim. John 2 is live for us with confetti expert Timmy Tuner for more insight. On to you, John 2. Thanks, John. I'm here today with Timmy Tuner here. Timmy, what goes into making a confetti launcher? There was a square, it's a circle, it's two half circles, more squares, galvanized circles, long circles, longer circles, long, long circle tied to the long circle, glue the squares to the circles, print red circle, drill punch circle, rivet circle, tie long, long circle to the servo, which is basically a square. After attaching the servo to the flight controller, configuring it in beta flight, I ran a small test. That was actually so cool. That was so cool! I didn't think that was gonna work. <laughs> All that was left was to put the props on and test one in three, two, one. <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen. As it turns out, the FC was placed on the wrong way. So after fixing that, it why? It has to work now. Arming. All right. Flight test number eight. Going in three, two, one. Oh, Whoa. oh my God! It worked. It went away. I couldn't. I couldn't get it back. But it uh, it didn't have the best landing. <laughs>
Oh no. Uh, is it still working? No, something's wrong. So the crash basically fried the FC. There was a short on the 3.3 volt line, which could mean a few things, like the voltage regulator could be busted, or the chip is totally toasted. But I did read that there was a quite simple solution online. Yay, the FC finally came in. The wires aren't the same. That's okay. That's okay. Just gotta jump the wires, flash the FC, reconfigure everything, and finally, take grad picks at the mall. So we went to our local park. Fortunately, no one was touching grass. It was a perfect, perfect day. Except for the stupid sprinklers! Small problem, we got these sprinklers that just popped up. There is? What are the chances that sprays right now? All the cameras were in place. I popped the confetti, loaded it into the trap, and strapped the camera to the drone! It's not gonna... Yeah. It's not gonna. Yeah. Like, Surely. It's on there. It's... Yeah. 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 Then the sprinklers hit. God, these sprinklers. I just how far? How close am I? Um, wherever you think this shot looks good. Okay. Oh, shit. oh I might wanna <laughs> run. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> the hell? Almost everything was soaked and almost everything seemed ruined. I hate this thing so much. <laughs> Cause I don't know if it fried anything. God, my door. Oh God, hurry. It got all over my laptop. Unfortunate. But after allowing some things to dry up for a bit, we relocated and I knew that if this thing was gonna fail again, I'm not getting another chance. I gotta load this thing up with confetti and then we're just gonna go for it. Whack it. <laughs> so technically, I have not flown this thing since I've crashed it. So this is technically test nine, but we're gonna fly it anyway. We're gonna assume it works. So this was gonna be all or nothing. Arming. <laughs> oh my God. Dude, that thing wanted to take off. Yeah, I saw that. You guys have no idea how scary this thing is, especially when it's trying to balance itself on your head! All right, ready. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. This might not go well. <laughs> oh God. And that's why guys, safety third. All right, we're gonna go? Yeah. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh. Oh. Holy shit, it worked! Holy shit, it's flying! <laughs> it's flying! Let's go! It's not flying down! <laughs> it's crashing, it's crashing! Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> okay, technically... This is petty, should have... Oh, my mic! <laughs> no, Mike, the confetti should have fallen, but I don't know what happened. The confetti did not fly. Something happened. Yeah. Crash site. I don't know if it, oh, it broke the wing. Oh, shit. The phone's still here, though. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, it did. It did release the confetti. Oh, where? I think it did. It's just. Well, I guess. Can we call that a success? I guess that's the only fight. Do you think it will still spin? <laughs> if it still spins, that means everything else works. It's just that everything else is broken. It fell right here. Oh, shit. That shit. Holy fuck. Damn. Maybe I should reiterate. Don't try this shit at home. Okay, for some reason, I couldn't control how high it was going. Uh huh. I kind of want to see if it still spins. <laughs> ah! Okay, I think I'm done. <laughs> I was I was gonna end the bit with like, oh, how do I how 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 do I land this thing? I, I was gonna let I was gonna end the bit just like that, and I guess that's how. Just like that. Just like that. What the? I can't afford credits. Hey hey hey. 
A few more words. So obviously that didn't go according to plan. You probably already noticed that the confetti auto launched here. You know who to blame for that? The cardboard hinge hadn't completely dried yet and became structurally unstable. Hence, you might have also noticed that there was no drone footage. Well, did it not catch any of that? No way, it didn't record. The footage was heavily corrupted due to the crash, and I was only able to recover my back. So technically, we have not But man, do you know how cool that would have been to see this in first person? It would have been wild! And the biggest fail of them all. I don't know what happened. Like, in both of these flights, they decided to just fly to the moon. Why? I don't know. Like, could the KV be too high on these motors for this weight? Did the cap add unnecessary drag? Was my transmitter and receiver too cheap? Someone, for the love of God, help me! Joshua! What happened was that as soon as I armed the quad, it began climbing and continued climbing even after I lowered the throttle and basically was flying to the moon. And the reason it did this is because of the flexi frame. The frame was too flexy. It got too much vibration getting to the gyro and then the pit loop just freaked out. Either way, this thing is never gonna fly again. Will I ever build another drone? Yes. I am too broke to do it now, but man, are these more fun than Legos. Wait, what if? Anyway, thank you for watching. If you're trying to make a more legal and functional drone, go ahead and check out the creators that I left in the descriptions below. If you like the music, my boy Jack has a bunch more tracks. Do you recognize this song? Do you remember this project? Or this project? Or this project? You probably don't. And that's okay. This is a rock. And this is rock. And these are the rocks. And this was a drone. Bucci the Bach!